Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationeers. Well, last time, well, we probably didn't really do much. We just put up a clock. Oh, yeah, and I've got to, got to do something about those decimal points, don't I? Um, yeah, but uh, last, okay. After last time, yeah, the, uh, I fixed the spelling, okay? Everybody, I'll fix the spelling, I think. Um, yeah, maybe close enough. That's all done. Uh, so that has been fixed up because that was probably the biggest comment. I can't spell. All right, you found me out. I can't spell. Uh, but we've got our water coming in. Now we've got our oxygen uh, sort of fixed up again. It did blow out and it is back to 15.4 megapascals. So it is going up again now so that should eventually fill up and the temperature should go down and that should all work a bit better um but that's all right there now now we yeah so i'm getting all the oxygen i want being sucked straight in it is just condensing out the co2 over the other side we've still got a blue light there which means it's still cons still condensing the co2 out of it uh, which means all of our ventilation systems in here have been shut off but we're doing all that and we're not using any filters at all so i don't have to change filters i do have a scrubber up the top there which will suck out any volatiles that may happen to get into there they shouldn't but um accidents happen uh, but all the pollutant and all the carbon dioxide should just condense out of it so that one should look after itself um, now we are making our hydrogen over here through our composter which is being fed maybe not enough um, but we are running out oh, 8 megapascals 8 megapascals of hydrogen it was 30 hydrogen but you know it's good enough so um so that's all coming out unfiltered once again so i don't have to change any filters on that one so that is good enough for what we feed into our water maker over here which is running pretty much continuously now fuel uh, our fuel there is uh, 28.7 13.9 that's going pretty good uh, until other stuff gets staked now I'm running at a high volatiles and I'm slightly volatile rich so I could just make it uh, turn up the oxygen uh, which is input 2 so I want to increase that's uh, no other way that's increasing 1 so if we turn that one down that should uh, increase the amount of oxygen there I can burn it oxygen rich I've got plenty of oxygen unlimited supply so I'd rather waste that than waste the uh, the volatiles Okay, 14.4 to 28. That one should be getting as complete combustion of the volatiles uh, with surplus oxygen coming out the other side. Which should be good. Uh, until I get a fuel mixer on there, which I will get around to eventually. Uh, I probably need to maybe get a bit of a kitchen going or a dining room. Oh, got to build the... Try and bring the Stirling engine inside. Ah, uh, yeah, that might be something to do. Uh, 50 megs there, yeah, thinner 10 degrees. Once that fills up, that'll go down and become colder. Now I've got to do something with the water. Experiment with our showers. Now I'm pretty clean at the moment, so that's not a problem. Now let's get the Stirling engine inside, perhaps. Uh, see if we can get a bit more power out of it. Um, because... At the moment I only have 98.7% of battery here. I, I, I could run low. Because um, I'm generating 11 kilowatts and using 6. So, uh, yeah, well, that's... Well, okay, it's not a danger, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I can. So, for that, I will probably need to make a room to put it in. I'll need to know how much is being used. Uh, I'm running around in circles, not knowing what to do. What I was going to do is um, something 
It's not on the list. Uh, have a look. Uh, a plant thingy. I seem to have lost it. And a, a battery. Right, you. I of course have to paint you. The other plant thingy. And you can go into there. Now I've probably got it, I'll probably find it now as soon as I um, walk in there. It'll be sitting on the floor. In the cupboard. Now, there you go, see? The growth efficiency is not very good. What the hell? You're good. You're not. Carbon dioxide, you got nitrogen. Everything else is good. No elimination stress. Got plenty of light. Uh, temperature's good. Why, well, you're just a sookie la la. I can put that on there. <laughs> How cool is that? Maybe not useful, but pretty cool. Uh, right, now, um, oh, my graph. My graph. Now, I'm using the, um, the, uh, uh, the ratio, what did I have? Ratio? I had the volume of liquid, that's what I was using in there. Uh, that will change with the, with the water. As the water temperature, as it condenses or heats up or cools down, the volume of liquids will change um, because some of the steam will turn to liquids and some of it will evaporate whether it heats up or cools down, which means there will be little errors on the graph there. Uh, there may be tiny errors, so it doesn't really matter. But this is a graph. You don't mess around with graphs. Good enough is never good enough for a graph. Only perfect. So what you should be using is the total moles. Well, admittedly, total moles is moles of everything. So if we get any pollutants in there, it'll count that as well. So I guess it just has to be good enough, won't it? That, that'll be good enough. Um, now let's... Uh, oh, we uh, thing is not switched on. Uh, so if I import that... So where we're loading a volume of liquid, we need to say uh, total moles. Uh, what number is that going to give us? Ah, we'll find out. Maybe a big number. Yeah, uh, we'll wait for that one to go through. I could have just looked at um what it says on there. The volume of liquid is 160 and our total moles is what? 8,000, 9,000. So yeah, it will give us a bigger number. A little bit. So we, oh, how have we improved though? Ah, uh, so there we go. We are using, we are making more water than we're using. Although we are now actually, as I say, we're making, using more hydrogen than we're making. So that might eventually come back and bite us. But we, we we'll find out eventually, probably the hard way. Uh, but anyway, now we want to get our Stirling engine from up there, bring it inside to here, because having one of them inside could never go bad. I just bring the one in, because I've only ever had one. Shut up, don't know what you're talking about, there's only ever been one. Uh, so, get you lot out of my way. Uh, yeah. And uh, clean up my cooking. Probably need to automate my ovens as well. So as I've got, it just automatically starts churning stuff out. As soon as it's got the ingredient. Oh, do I want to do that? 
once I get more stuff there and start trying to make like pumpkin pies and stuff, it might. I'm not going to get them from a canning machine though, am I? I could automate the canning machine just to can whatever, as soon as it's got enough stuff, it can can stuff. This one, I probably don't want to automate. I might want to choose stuff. Uh, yeah, who knows. You can go over there. Get you out of there. Nope, no, 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 no. You go, you go over there. Right, so if I use this space here, uh, you can shut up, you can shut up. That's a little bit better. Uh, you're still going. How's that fuel mix looking? You. Uh, 14. That's yes, that's high on high on oxygen now. So we got surplus oxygen. That's what we wanted. Uh, so I'll need to make a box for that one, and find a way to pump a bit more gas into it. So if I put a reinforced window on the front of it to make sure it doesn't explode inwards, if it's going to explode, it'll explode outwards. Uh, I think that's the way to do it. So I shall need a, a reinforced windows and a stellite sheet you if I just create the box and open it from outside might be the best way to do it so if you go into there I need plastic I think that was now for you you and Gar. Oh, that's better. And a wall. Uh, flat wall, maybe? What I put on that? I didn't put anything on that side. Oh, okay, we'll grab a flat wall then. Which I'm probably not going to have. That wall, or I do have them, or I've got a whole pile of them. Both are good. But you, Ooh, that's loud. Go into there, and my steel sheet, which I did have a second ago. Yoink. Right, that should be sealed up. So I should just have to put a vent onto you to suck in a higher pressure gas in there. That should improve the efficiency of my Stirling engine. Uh, so I will have, to, I don't have to shut it down. I can keep going with it all working. All right, suit up. Now I want, I want, I want, I want. I'll need some pipes to pipe in more stuff and a couple of vents. Uh, I do have vents. They're not going to be in the cupboard. Don't be ridiculous. Uh, you. Yeah. Go on. I do have vents. I did have vents. There we go. One. One's not enough. Okay, so I should need some more vents. Uh, yeah, give me three. I shall need uh, the pipes. And... I've got an active vent out there which is always running. And... Cables. Got cables. And... That might do us. I know a way to find out. Do I still have my still have my yellow thing? All 
Right. Rock and roll. And I've still got to find something to do with all that liquid CO2 that's coming out of there. That's just a waste. I could use that to cool that room, couldn't I? You'd have to capture it. I'd have to have enough of it. I don't really have a way to eject liquid into a room. Um, right, anyway, let's have a look at you. We are getting, uh, so it's 1200 degrees, it is 8000 megapascals. We are getting uh, 4.18 kilowatts. That's not too bad. It's not the full power there, uh, but it should be telling us. Or is it on here? Should be telling us that our hot side is a full. 1500 Kelvin and our cold side is 1100 Kelvin, 1170. So that's the better the difference we get between those two, the more efficiency we're going to be getting out of it. Uh, so although our environmental operating efficiency is 100%, so are we actually going to get any more? Our pressure differential is pretty shite. Uh, but, oops, that's the wrong one. Try that one. Uh, right, so if I move that into a higher pressure environment, I should get more power. And yes, people did figure out why it blew up. The cable's the wrong colour. How, how, how could I miss such a fundamental design flaw like that? There we go, that one's safe now. Damn. All right, let's have a look. Now I do have our pressurized pipe, this one here. Can I use that? Well, there's not much in it. Uh, should I put a big event on that? And will that cause things to start exploding again? Now these things use... Uh, get out of the way, HUD. We are using 100 watts. That's 300 watts there to produce them. Uh, I could put one of them on there at 500 watts. And what are the medium ones of them worth? Yeah, uh, good. Yep, wrong button. Try F1. There we go. Vent. So if we grab our powered vent, 250 watts. I could put one of them on there and it'll use less power than those three and probably get me more gas. Um, come on. There we go. Oop. So I might put a big event on there just so I can be cheap. And I will use that to actually cool down this room. Uh, so that is sealed. Very good. So I should be able to... Uh, I got up there, nothing. Can put... you onto that one there and I will need to have a way to get the stuff out again. I just put you there like that. That one I'll have to hook up. I've got the wrong wrong flavour pipes. Uh, a gas sensor might be handy as well so I can actually tell what pressure's in there. Uh, you. So bring the pipes and the gas sensor. I should probably be able to poke the gas sensor through the wall and just look at the other side of it and that would probably be enough to tell me what's going on in there. Don't need to wire it up. Uh, 
so I should want a uh, sensor. Just one and some pipes. Right, you. Is that all I wanted? Uh, an event. Let's grab our powered vent, uh, which required pipes and plastic sheets. I've got them. Just the one. Yoink. Now. Let's see if we can blow up this room. Uh, you. Uh, get rid of you. Thank you. I'll save that one. Going. You. Need to go up to you. You sensor. We need to be a gas sensor. I think I can see you through the wall. Oh. I can't see that through the wall. <laughs> uh, let's. More than one way to skin a cat. Let's put you into there and see what we end up with in here. We are 41 kilopascals, 45. I don't think that's going to explode. So yes, we can do that. Uh, Let's go off. Ooh. Oh, I still can't see that. Ooh, you. Um, well. Uh, grinder. As I say, we put that on the inside then. Aha! I still can't see what's happening with it. Um, no, not you. Can I see it on you? There we go. Pressure's at 54. Your pressure is gone too. It said such dropped. Okay, so maybe the bigger one on there. Uh, how are we doing? We have 21% coming in and half a percent going out. Yes, maybe a big event. Uh, big event is, um, is, is bigger. Now let's put you down here perhaps. We need pipes and a winch. No. Screwdriver. And well that plastic done. Right.
Oop, try switching it on. Okay, so we're definitely getting more pressure in there now. If we switch the light off. Yeah, getting more pressure in there now. Means we should be getting more pressure in there. Ooh, three hundred. Uh, is that gonna? Be? Yeah, my window's gonna blow out now. Um. 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 Well, if I. If I say, uh, drill you, take you, and spanner you, into a one way valve, create a little bit more back pressure on that. Is that going to produce the pressure in there? Uh, yes, it is. Now we're back to uh, 120, 130 kilopascals. Okay, so we can do that. Now, what's happening to you? Is that going to blow up now? 600 kilopascals. Uh, I think we're good. Now we have 21.9% steam in there and we have 0.133. So that's getting almost all of the steam. Uh, so it is 21.9, yeah, almost 22%. And we've got, uh, yeah, 0.13% there. So we're losing... Uh, less than 1% of the water we're making. So I mean, you could filter it and capture 100% of it, but I'm using no filters at all and still getting over 99% of all the water. Uh, so that's all right. I'm happy with that. Uh, we are still just getting water. Oh, it is 56 degrees in there now, though. Now it's going down again. Okay, don't panic. Right. So our room is pressurized. Um, before it explodes, let's give it a coat of paint. Because we just don't want to mess with those sort of dangers of having it the wrong colour. Oh, electrical fire about to happen. There we go. So I can now salvage them. Yep. So I'm getting more pressure and more water and pressurizing that room for less power. Wow. Such a tight ass. Uh, uh, I'll take those pipes back too because I'm a tight ass. There we go. Problem all solved. And some cables I can salvage too. And you. There we go. Now I have a space in there to put that, an almost broken space in there to put that. So I can move you now and see if we can get more power. If we don't get more power, I'll be looking pretty silly then, won't I? Sillier. Now let's grab you. Eat. Right. Uh, you did not take any damage. You did not take any damage. Very good. Right, you did take damage. So I shall just um, deconstruct you and rebuild you. That doesn't count as an incident. I stopped it before it blew up. That's not a health and safety incident. Just like to point that out. 
Okay, now Sterling Engine, you go down to there. And... Well, that's about it. And the hot gas will have to come down into you. And into there. Well, that sounds pretty easy. Alright, set you off. Help me gas back. Uh, I need hand drill. I need a wrench. And I need a hand drill. Right. Oops. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. You already got them. Q into uh, they are. The power is on this side, that's okay. I can easily get that hooked up. I needed you with a welder. And I needed electronic parts with a screwdriver. No, just electronic parts. Cool bananas. Put you into they are. I can switch you on. Yeah. I know. I Stop hassling me. Ah. I see a slight flaw in my plan. Are uh, you... doesn't hurt having the vents right beside each other like that because it um it only calculates the uh, ventilation as an entire cube so if these are sitting right beside each other or on the other side of the room it doesn't matter at all. Right, we got that there so now oh, I don't I can look at it it's just because I'm going through the glass I didn't like it well anyway now so I need to get the power I guess can jump power. Wow. Um, I could have planned this a little bit better. Now it's got to go to there. Uh, you. Can come out. Uh, straight up the middle, perhaps. Uh, so I need to take out you, you, oops, I want that one. Of one way a valve, take out you, replace you with a you, you, and I have power again. Nice. Now uh, so we have that. I need to hook up the power. Which can go straight up to there. Uh, go. Up. Uh, you. And I've run out. Well done. I need to go tidy up that pipe. It's, it's, it's demanded, isn't it? Yep.
What? Who's creaking? Not you. Not you. Not you. Nope. Who's creaking? Why? Um. Oh, you got damage. Because of freezing. Okay, well, let's get some more heat in there pretty quickly then, shall we? And... You. If you are to come over to here... I can tidy you up. With that one. Oh, ha, oh, ha, oh, look how, how OCD compliant this one's going to be. move that one down. That would be fine. Now that one's not actually doing anything because it wasn't getting enough pressure to liquefy anything at all so I that's not the tool I want. So those vents can be removed. Having said that I have liquid water in there now but it is a hoofdeenth of stuff all so not too worried. How are you doing? You are freezing. Minus 24 degrees. Wow. Uh, 32. It's not getting any worse. Maybe we're okay if we've got a constant flow of gas. So if I took you out. Uh, if that, if you stop producing heat, does that mean stuff's going to start freezing? Ah, uh, who knows? We'll find out, I guess. Now, you... I can see it. Uh... 98, 99, 100 kilopascals. That looks like it's going to equalize around about there at a safe pressure, so we should be good. Uh, right, so now I just need to know how much power is coming out of that so as I can decide whether or not it was a good idea. Uh, now I need some more cables. We should be good to go. And then just stack them. Uh, cables, 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 cables. Wait, out of, oh, now I'm not out of heavy cables. We're all right. And we should be good. Uh, anytime you're ready, we shall open that up. I suppose I don't really need to hook up the power cables to find out how much it's generating. And, and we'll have to go straight 
straight across here because that's a straight line. Uh. Right, very good. You just need a quick paint uh, and everything is fully functional. Storm incoming. And there's a storm incoming. Now, Mr. Sterling Engine, you are producing uh, oh, 5.6 kilowatts. Well, it's gone up by a kilowatt. That's better. But our pressure is now down to 5,000. So I could put more pressure in there and get a bit more power out of it. Yeah. Can I do that? Or do I have to go inside? Nope, we're good. Storm incoming. All right. Now, this is not what caused the last one to explode at all in any way. Shut up, don't know what you're talking about. Uh, you have got... Uh, 53 mole in there. Uh, if I want a little bit more, um, switch it on. You know, I want a little bit more. It was only halfway to exploding pressure, so I probably could put. I'll go back to 70 where the last one was that. Exploded. Storm. And we'll stick that in there, Mr. Storm coming. Right. There we go, six megapascals, we're fine. Uh Heating up 6.5 megapascals. We're now getting 8 kilowatts out of there, so that's now running at full power. As long as it doesn't explode, we're fine. There may be a little bit of instrumentation on that one to uh, let us know how much power is coming out of it and what pressure it's running at, and that pressure is still going up. Storm incoming. I'm sure it'll be fine. Not slowing down. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, that could go wrong. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Where's my jetpack? Do I still have infinite jetpack? Let's test it out. Oh. I don't have infinite battery on this thing, though. And a pipe. Jetpack Storm. critical. Incoming. Is it though? Is it really critical? No, it's not critical. <laughs> it's nothing to worry about. Okay, so I have infinite jetpack. What is going on with that? Uh, you. Oh, because there's liquid in there. That little bit of water make it always have pressure. Okay, right. Task now. How do I fill a gas cylinder up full of liquid? Well, I don't need it full of liquid because it seems like it's just going to keep going anyway. Storm incoming. Okay, there's something to do can break reality. <laughs> Although the alarm is still very annoying. Oh, 
Right. Be quiet. Now, uh, we want to put... Alarm onto that. What's our pressure reading? Are we all going to die? Um, hello? Charge up? Oh, it's not a rechargeable battery. That's why that one's not going to charge up. What sort of common garbage is that? Storm incoming. Give me another one of them. I don't want any changing batteries like some commoner. Next thing you know, you want me to change filters. Whoops, I've got lost. Uh, pressure. Pressure's okay. Don't panic. Oh, hang on. Why is our power generation down to four? Oh, what? Might be saying night time we're going to get the full power. Well, that's okay. Night time is when Storm. I Incoming. need the full power. Uh, now, I have... I want to wire this up and put on a couple of displays so as we have some information on what is going on here. So I'll need a couple of displays. I'll need to wire it up. I'll need to... Uh, I'll probably get rid of my stinky pants. Right, so I need a couple of consoles. I've got cables. We should be good. Uh, consoles. Boop. Two of them. And... You go away. Uh, you can go away. Uh, you can go away. You can go away. Hello. Storm incoming. Ah, still got five, six minutes. Very good. Now I can control that probably from my water thingy. I've got one pin left. I'll control it from that thingy. We'll be fine. We've got some commands that allow us to do that. Uh, boop and boop. Now, I shall want you, sir. Yeah, shit. Um. Less. Now I can uh, stand a bit closer, put my head through the wall. Uh, cutters. some weird noises going on around here. Now I should have power. If I turn on my trippy glasses. I do have power in between those two pipes over there so I can run it over that way. I probably have it just up here too. Too late. I've committed. Oh damn. I don't have a speaker in this room. Yep. Oh. That should hook in right there. Bingo. We're done. We've got power. So I shall need to load from the Stirling engine the power generation and the pressure and show them onto you and you. Uh, to do that, I shall... What the hell is making that noise? Well, it couldn't be too important. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, so I need... Um, what do I want? I want you. So you can be the... Uh, the uh, pressure. So you are 
2814A and you shall be the uh what do you say that one that one is the pressure this one will be the power you are 28100 um for the power cool now i have a pin left so i can get the sterling engine onto that one Now I need to remove you and I'll still got the code in there. So I need to alias the sterling to D5 and I shall just have to use the device reference IDs for the other two displays. Uh, this is still going all the way through every time that code runs so I can just keep adding to the bottom so load into R0 from the sterling the power generation and I can uh, save uh, save device save device to our power which is uh, our 28100 the setting R0 and I shall load into R0 from the sterling the pressure internal pressure and this will save device to the other one which is the Two eight one four E the setting R zero. Right. So now if I just grab the sterling engine onto you it should be on there now. I probably should have gone to the S's, shouldn't I, for sterling engine? Oh, yep, no, nope, try again. There we go. Got it. If I yank you, uh, if I yank you, export, yank, no, oh shit. Um, I hope my mixer's not on. My mixer is on. Uh, stop. Okay, what didn't you like? Uh, at 38. 38. You didn't like that. Okay. Is that not the reference ID they want? What? 38 still, yep. You got switched on again. Stop it. Okay, so how do I use that command? I've used it before, I know I have. So 38. That's what it is. Uh, Save device. It's the setting. It is. You do not like that? Twenty eight one hundred. Okay. Is it the other reference ID we need? I'm sure I used that one. Uh, 2814E. Yeah. Now other reference ID. 
Let's try that one. Uh, one six four one seven four. Is that what I need? I'm sure I used a hash. Okay, let's try that then. Uh, a 164174. What? What? Yeah, but... Why? Why is he accepted one? Did I put in the wrong number? It's not getting the power though. The other one's not working. Why is the other one not throwing an error? Uh, wait, one four e. Wait, one four e was that's. I don't know. <laughs> Something weird. Oh, yes. Wait, one four e. It's accepting. Oh, hang on. Is that a zero or a D? Uh, are they D's and not zeros? Let's try that. Okay, that were D's. <laughs> I just couldn't recognise a double D. Okay. Well, there's a trick. Uh, so that is now working. It is under pressure. It is full power. So I'm getting full power at night time. Uh, cool. Right, so let's go up the top. You are the power generation. Put you there and we say uh, mode three for power. Uh, LED display two for power. Then we have one for pressure. Uh, sent default power. I thought we had a mode for pressure. Obviously not. There we go, so we have up the power. Um, that we didn't need, but we've done it. Oh, I could have done a bit better with um, finishing that off. Okay, so I have to pull the wall out of the back of that and um, redo those ones, I think. So I got some walls, I got some walls, we're good. And we're good. No. Oh, that's right, we changed it, didn't we? Um, our water may or may not be going well. 
91. Well, it looks a lot more impressive. Ooh, drink. I'll let her ruin it. Uh, oop. Yeah. Ah, anyway, let's go uh, finish off this little cabinet. And I still got to make my fuel. And that'll probably be my water cooler actually done. So the Sterling engine fixed. And our water cooler will probably be complete then. So I can actually chop a couple of things off my list of things to do. Now, suit chip, we're going to have to wait. They're making up some new suits and stuff in the beta branch, I see. So we might wait until they arrive before we start messing around with them. Now, I wanted to get outside, so I'll need my suit for that. And let's go. And... Oop. You can all switch off and start wasting my precious power that I have heaps of. Uh, yep. well, that's all sealed off in there. Ah. Are you out? Whee! I can now say you be a uh, flat wall. You, no, no in there. Give me a flat wall. You're the wrong type of thing there, so that's just not good enough. You have to come out of there. You come out of there. You can go up there as a flat wall. You can then seal off you. You can seal off you. You can go down there and put the glass back in. Now put the glass back in. Yeah, come on, come on. You can do it. You can't do it. Uh, well, as I said, we can just put another one of them on the outside and just pretend we've got two pieces of glass in there. There we go. Um, and I can get back my sensor. There we go. Success. We have done our Sterling engine. Yay. Right, uh, and let's go and see what our water cooler is doing. Yep. How are we doing? Oh, we're down to four megapascals. That's not good. Uh, but we still have. Have I got 14% of... What? That's, well, that's down to 27 degrees, 24 degrees. That's all right. Uh, is that because my mix of... Look at volatiles. I'm still volatile rich. What the hell, dude? I... What the hell, dude? Uh, anyway... 14% there, and we are losing 0.62%. So we're almost catching everything. That's all right. I think our water production is going about as well as we can hope for. Although something's still wrong with the mix on it, so I really need to get an automated mixer in there, which I've been saying for about 20 episodes, but um, maybe I do because I'm running out of volatiles, and I'm still burning volatile rich. For some reason. Uh, oh, look at all those green lights now. Ha ha ha. Damn, I'm good. Uh, we're almost back up to 20 megapascals on our oxygen supply. And our power has been boosted. I'd say that's been a good day. Uh, but. What, what the. 
Go ahead. No, 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 turn, turn down. Right, we'll go down. 50-50. Now there's definitely going to be a surplus of oxygen in there. I don't know. Something weird going on. I think it's just when it's sucking in gas. But anyway, we'll worry about that another day. That's about all we time for today. So until next time, happy building. See ya. Um, I saw fire in there. <gasps> the cable's the wrong colour. Oh, my, my displays have disappeared. My display's just burned. Oh, for... Okay, so I put another window on the inside of that. And that might have fixed it. I'll have to run it for a day and find out if it has. It's still early in the morning. He broke up during the day, but uh, we may have fixed it. That extra wall may have worked. I'll find out soon enough. But, um, yeah, shut up. Yep. Ah.